Hello everyone! My name is Brennan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am so excited to say that I'm doing another guest design for Newton's Nook. We're making a super fun St. Patrick's Day themed card. So let's just get into the video and also just a little quick note, as this is a guest design, is nature of it, I did get these Newton Nook's products for free, but I love them. I have loved this company since I first started crafting. This is one of the first stamp companies I bought from, so let's get into the video. So today we're going to be using the Newton's Lucky Clover stamp set. As you can see, we have Newton and he's holding a little four-leaf clover. He is so adorable. And we're also going to be using the coordinating dies. And then I'm also going to use the trailing leaves stencil, which is also from Newton's Nook. So let's get started. Let's start coloring. I'm going to go in with YR07 first. And this is going to be my darkest color or what's called like the low light because this is the shadow and I'm not really using a rhyme or reason. I kind of did it where the shamrock would be giving Newton a shadow and also like on the bottom of his stomach and the bottom of his feet. But beyond that, there was really no rhyme or reason. Then I'm going to go in with YR16 and I'm going to go over the YR07 a little bit, but also bring it in a lot and cover up most of the white area because this is the mid-tone and the true color. And this is the color that Newton like actually is. The low light is the shadows, and the highlight is where the um, light is like hitting. So those are going to be a little lighter and darker, respectively. So the mid-tone should be the most, because it's the M, and it's also like what Newton's color actually is, basically. So I'm going to keep doing that until most of the white area is filled up, and then I'm going to go in with my YR04, and I'm just going to fill in the rest of the area and basically go over everything I've already done just to make sure all the blends are nice. And I'm going to keep doing that until all of Newton is covered in orange. Newton is so adorable, y'all, especially in this stamp. He's just so cute. I love him. So now I'm just going to go in with a little RV10 and do Newton's ears and as well as his nose. So now I'm going to do Newton's stomach and his paws, his little toe beans, with E33 and I thought E31, but then my E31 turns out it's dried out. So we're just going to do a couple layers of E33. And this is just a little tip. If you have a limited amount of Copics, or if you don't have a lot of Copics or you're new to Copics or any alcohol marker for that matter, just layer up and you can create some shading very easily. And I'm just going to keep doing that, and there we go. And now lastly, I'm going to use G99 with BG96. The G99 is the darker color, so I'm outlining the shamrock here, or the four-leaf clover, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just outlining that, and then I'll go over it with the BG96 again. And I'll do two layers of the BG96, just because this is a larger jump, and I want to make sure everything is blended out well. And I'll do the same exact thing for all of the smaller shamrocks. I'm just not going to show that, because it's the same thing, and you don't need to watch it over six times. That would be a little boring, I think. And here's the finished Newton. So now let's start in the background. First, I'm going to go in with some Oh Boy ink from Catherine Pooler. I'm going to get that on my blue blending brush. And I'm basically just going to do a fade into the center. So I'm going to add to the edges first, and then I will work my way in. But this doesn't have to be perfect, and a, this is a great way to hide imperfect ink blending is by adding some paste over by stenc and stenciling through. And that's exactly what we're going to do with some lunar paste and then the trailing leaf stencil, which I showed you earlier. Okay, so I did that pretty quickly. So it's not the nicest looking, but now what I'm going to do is, and the good thing about Catherine Pooler Ink, it smooths out, so it will be fine, is that I'm going to put down the trailing leaf stencil. <clears throat> and I have sprayed some pixie spray on here. And you might be like, why did you use Pixie Spray if you're using a piece of mat? It just helps so the paste doesn't go under the stencil, which can happen on any stencil. So it helps to prevent that. So I have our leaves there. Now I'm just going to open this lunar paste, which has been well loved. So there's not much left in there. And we're going to put a decent amount on because we're going to be using a decent amount. And then once we have that on, we're just going to take our scraper and scrape all that good paste down. The way I like use the perfect amount of that. Okay, wait, that was like too perfect. Okay. 
Okay, wait. Okay. I did amazing on that. Not to pat myself on the back, but I kind of did. And then we're going to peel and reveal. And would you look at that? Just Okay, I'm going to leave it on there and move it off camera so I can um, move it a little. But look at that. I love how that came out. So as you can see, I have die cut everything out, and then our background here is all dry, and I stamped a sentiment in black cardstock and white heat embossed it with the Happy St. Patrick's Day sentiment. So let's get assembling. So I'm going to start um, with putting Newton in the middle. I'm putting some glue on him, and then I'm going to fidget with him for a second because the glue wasn't sticking that well because there's very little area for it to stick to with the leaves being raised, so I'm going to add a little glue again. Now I'm going to take the sentiment and put some little foam circles on the back of it and pop it up. Everything but Newton is going to be popped up. And what I'm going to do with the shamrocks is use them almost as embellishments. And the reason I did five of the little ones, and I'm just gluing Newton down again, I'm doing five of the little ones because the eye, for whatever reason, loves odd numbers. So as I go, I'm just popping a little tiny foam circle onto the back of each shamrock. I'm doing two in the upper right corner and then three towards the bottom on the left. Basically, the eye just loves odd numbers for whatever reason. Who knows why, but it does. And here is our almost finished card. And here is the finished card. I think this came out amazing. And look at Newton, he's just so adorable there. To finish it off, I just added a black border and our white card base, and then it is done. Okay, I've probably said this probably like five times at this point, but isn't Newton so adorable in this card? He's just so cute holding his little shamrock. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't already, please make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button. Have an amazing rest of your day, and bye everyone. Happy crafting.